Guys, they said the Mitopa was in disbelief over what Blue Blue did to her uh, as she came to drag royal representation with Blue Blue during the Ayangalu Drum Festival. You know that they said last year when this uh, festival, this Ayangalu Festival, according to history, was said to have descended next to Odudua at a historic place called Atiba. And this obvious account for why Atiba remains the hub of traditional dramas in Ileife, Yoruba ancestral abode till date. The term Ayangalo refers to the spirit or god of the drum. And this uh, uh, drum is used in communal gatherings. The uh, drums act, acted as catalysts for collective expression fostering bonds of solidarity and belonging among tribe members. Moreover, drums played a crucial role in communication, serving as vital tools for conveying messages and coordinating activities within and between communities. You know that uh, this uh, festival, this uh, Ayangalu Drum Festival, they do it, they celebrate it every year. It's not the only festival they celebrate, though. Ah, they are known for a whole lot of celebration. They said most of these deities, about 401 deities in that palace, are being celebrated on a daily basis in Ileife. So, Yoruba people is full of celebration, celebration, celebration. And the Ileife people, the way they celebrate their deity, they not be here. So... And one thing that makes uh, a lot of people believe that Kabiesi and his wife, they don't have any problem, is the fact that after everything, they will come out and do their real representation, making a lot of people believe that the all is well, they don't have any problem, and all of that. And this uh, Temitokwe have been doing that, even to the point of uh, uh, changing, switching her name with other people's name, just to be showing us her face. On social media at every given opportunity. So last year they said she was the one who celebrated this, uh, who represented KPSC on this uh, uh, Ayangalu, Ayangalu Drum Festival during the festival, you know. And Blow Blow, on the other hand, for a very long time now they say she have been having serious buzzbuzz with KPSC. Things have not been that well for her. And uh, Timitopa thinks she's going to use the opportunity to take over again. She's very good at, at doing that. She keeps switching people's name just to be doing the royal representation, making people believe that uh, she don't have any problem with KBSC. She is KBSC's favorite wife. <laughs> because that's the impression they want to create now. So, but the said Blue Blue have made up her mind that she is going to do the royal representation on this particular Ayangalu Drum Festival today. So, and uh, Blow Blow have gone out to the event of the program. Why, when the uh, Kwe found out that she had gone out, they said she sent, she was rushing to that place with one of her bodyguard to stop her before the event started, before the event starts, you know trying to tell her that, no, go, it is my duty. I did it last year, so it's my duty to do that and all of that. After all, during their delay presentation and everything, nobody challenged you with it and all of that. That, that was her intention of coming. But they said, why uh, uh, Blue Blue noticed that she was coming with one of her bodyguards? They said Blue Blue sent two of her own bodyguards and the as in the way they walk them out. The way, when her own bodyguard wanted to fight back, they said, a blow, blow bodyguard beat that one mercilessly. You know that those ones, they are two. They beat them, eh? Blue, black. I even tear their clothes. The way they left that event, eh? <laughs> I'm sure for, for some time, she will rest. She will give herself some piece of advice regarding this uh, royal representation. Because with the level she is going, with the rate as, at which she is trying to prove that uh, she is the best candidate for this representation all the time, uh, the Oloris will start, will start ganging up against her because of it, the same way they are ganging up against Queen Naomi. 
So they said, when this guy did that thing to her, she couldn't bear it. She hasn't. She did not see it coming. She was expecting to go there. And they said, Blow Blow did not talk. She did not even make any noise or trying to create scene with her as usual. That it was the guards who did the, the job and they did it perfectly well. That they, they, they spotted them from a distance and went there to visit them, to meet them, to command them to go back. That they are not needed, needed there. <laughs> because Blow Blow already know why she was coming. Because she believed it is her title. Yes, it is her title to always be the do the royal representation on any Ayangalu drum festival, a drum festival, just like the way she did it last year. <laughs> and I said to myself, these women, these women, these women, I want to go rest to make on a go rest, especially this uh, Olori Two Face. She took the show up. She took the show herself and all of that. Blow, blow, and the big go have meeting against you. <laughs> they will do meeting against you because, you know, said this too. <laughs> now, now, them be the, uh, uh, how will I put it? They are in charge. <laughs> they are in charge of Juju and uh, everything that is happening in that palace. She better go and rest too. You see, eh, they said, these women, do anything you want to do to them. They will pretend as if nothing is happening. But don't play with the fact of uh, trying to stop them from coming to do the royal representation. Mm -hmm. If you try that, that, that is to say that you have, you have destroyed their image completely. Because they see it as a golden opportunity to showcase themselves, to meet opportunities and all of that. And because... Uh, people believe that they don't have any problem with KBAC with the way they represent. And that is why they said, no matter what is going on in the palace, even if they fight this minute, in the next minute they have a royal representation, they will have to go and do makeup, cover bruises, cover anything that is not good, and come out there to start smiling. Even if that smile is not coming out from their hearts, they will have to smile. If not, <laughs> if not, they will not go on royal representation again. And that is why a lot of people believe that these people are fine. They are fine. You bloggers, you like to carry fake news. You guys can lie. <laughs> My people, wonder shall never end. Anyways, the only thing is that they can never enjoy this marriage as long as Queen Naomi is not there. Because it is Queen Naomi's marriage. They cannot chase her out and enjoy the marriage. That is one thing I know. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Like I will always remind you, these are all alleged information, okay? Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and share my video. I love you guys. Bye for now.